Hey guys, just thought I'd come out here and show you guys this patch of mallow and grass and weeds. I am going to bring the New Zealand rabbits out and I will record them over the next few days. And just to show you guys that you can raise these meat rabbits in your backyard. You don't have to let these weeds run out of control, but they will manage it for you. As you can see, there's hay right there in her cage but she is eating around the hay which means she prefers this green so they'll eat everything down to the bottom and I'll move this maybe maybe once a day or maybe twice a day depending on on how much she can get through this starting patch doesn't have a whole lot uh, but when I get to the middle it's a little bit more thick I will be bringing another one into that cage and I will have these two here and the other babies over on the other side this should help me maintain this without me having to mow it's just another way of being more sustainable with what you got this is something that anybody can do in their backyard as you can see doesn't matter what size yard you have you can definitely take advantage of something like this this is free food. You don't have to feed pellets all the time. It's just hay and whatever weeds, mallow, whatever it's in there will sustain this meat rabbit. This is a New Zealand. And over on that side, we have the New Zealand babies and they're going on two months. I actually weighed them the other day. They were over two pounds. I will pause it and bring you guys over. Alright, so I've had this New Zealand over on this side. It's about a week that they've been mowing down this patch of grass. As you can see how thick it was. It's not as thick as the other side. But I have chicken wire underneath them just because uh, they're really small and I didn't want them to escape. But I think another week or so they'll be ready to be moved to a different cage, different rabbit tractor. Let me bring you guys closer. You can see all the weeds, the different varieties. The only thing they're not eating is the stinging nettle. As you can see, some of it's being left out here. But I will come through and, and cut that out and hopefully no more will come out. But I just moved them a few minutes ago. And again, these are at two months and they are two pounds. A couple of them were two pounds, two ounces, two pounds, four ounces. The goal is for them to be five pounds by 12 weeks or three months. That's that's the time that we can uh, look forward to butchering them and hopefully putting some of these in the freezer. So I moved them last night. It's completely bare. And what is left behind is their fertilizer. So this patch of grass should come out even stronger over the next few weeks. This is from this morning when I moved them last night. This morning to middle of the day. And again, I'll move them. I'll leave them here till the evening. And then overnight, I'll move them over here. So it looks like one, two, three times a day they're getting fresh greens. And then uh, once a day, I'll throw in some hay in there uh, to add to their diet. And again, all this is in the backyard, as you guys can see. There's the other New Zealand. Questions, comments, as always, list them down below. Don't forget to share and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're aware of any new videos, anything new that's coming up. And as always, criticisms, keep them um, to yourself.